we know that concussions by medical definition are brain damage. However, concussion symptoms often get overlooked in the ER. Many times because folks don't know they have a concussion because they believe they have to lose consciousness in order for a concussion to occur. Take a look here at some of the symptoms that are being described by my clients after suffering from a concussion. I got, I remember getting in the ambulance and they cleaned my face and stuff off and then I thought everything was okay until about 30 minutes later. I just felt a sharp pain in my back and my neck stiffened up and I told them I needed to go to the hospital. If I don't remember driving or where I went, well, I woke up and uh, they asked me if I knew where I was at and I told them it looks like a hospital. Later on, it was more severe than that. It was a brain injury. Tell me how your brain injury has affected you since the incident. Um, I've lost a lot of compassion for people. I, I, it's hard for me to think like I used to. You know, I used to care for a lot of people. Uh, now death doesn't phase me. We've, we've recently lost a lot of people and I just accept death as death. Um, I'm, it's hard for me to console people because I don't, don't know how to find that compassion anymore. My temper is a lot shorter. Um, I get aggravated a lot more easily. I f still, my memory is, I, I don't remember what I did last week. Uh, it really affected my marriage because uh, she had to put up with me not being able to remember things or uh, just not having that compassion for her like I used to. I used to be, you know, be ran random and buy her flowers here and there. And now I don't even think about things like that. And it's like, why not? Why why can't I think about those things? Be irritated easily all the time. Um, you know, things I say or do could just make him really angry really fast. So I have to really kind of watch how I talk to him or how I say it.